Hey, good looking. You ready to get busy? Awesome. We've got a strength training routine up on the go. I have no idea how long it's going to be. We'll see when I upload the video. But you do need some tools, okay? I want you to grab a pair of heavy dumbbells. This is for legs and rows and a pair of light dumbbells for shoulders. Deal? All right, let's go. Hello there. Hey, welcome to the Fitness with PJ channel. I'm so happy to have you. We've got strength training on the um, agenda for today, so hopefully you grab those tools I asked you in the intro, because we're going to get started right away. Let's start by warming up into the hips. Take that right leg. Give me some big hip circles. Lead with the knee. Open up. Beautiful. Get the hip joint all lubricated and ready for those squats and lunges. Two more. Last one. Now take that same leg. I want you to kick it up for hamstring and then back for lunge. Ready? Here we go. Eight. Seven. Now when we lunge, that front knee and ankle stay aligned. When we kick, we're trying to keep the leg fairly straight so we can feel that length happening behind the thigh. Last three. And here we go. Hip circles, other leg. Make them big. Hey, if you're new to the channel, I'm so happy you stopped by. Hope you like me enough to stick around. What is not to like? <laughs> a fucking lot. <laughs> Anyways, two more. <laughs> All right, let's kick it. Let's lunge it. Ready? Kick it. Lunge it. Oh, yes. I love that. When we step back, you get that nice length in the hip flexor. Last four. And release. Okay, so let's take it down for some push ups. That's going to warm up our upper body. We'll do a little plank action and then we'll get busy. All right, all right. On the knees, so the push ups are pretty. Core engaged. I was close to the rib cage, but not real tight. Drop down, press up. You got it. Seven more. Head up. One more. Awesome. Wrists underneath the shoulders. Come off of those knees. Let's hold this plank. Get that core warmed up from this position. Left leg. Push it straight up for eight, seven, six. Keep the bum down though. So we still have that plank. Last three, two, one. Other leg. Go. Eight, seven, Now, hold the plank, <laughs> don't go anywhere. Bend your knees and walk your hands back to your toes. We're ready. All right, I forgot one tool though. I've got sensitive elbows, so I need a little cushion for the plank we're gonna be doing. So hang tight, don't go anywhere. All right, here we go. We're starting with heavies, okay? Then we'll move on to our lighter ones. Our first series of moves involves squats and lunges and presses. It's three rounds of 30 seconds. Now, we are starting with lunges. I get it, however, that some of you have sensitive knees and lunges don't work for you. If that is the case, I'm gonna show you a totally different move. I'll quickly show you. You're gonna go down for a one-legged bridge or glute press, okay? And then when we do the other leg, you do the other leg. Deal? I know, it's cool, right? Everybody can join us. Okay, if you're lunging with me, grab those heavies. One leg in front, one leg behind. Nice and tall in the upper body. Now drop that back knee straight down to your ground and drive up again, front leg straight. Now I'm gonna be honest with you, I did this workout yesterday. I don't usually recommend doing back-to-back -back strength workouts. However, today is the only day I can film for you guys. So here I am. So I knocked my weight back quite a bit from what I was doing yesterday. So you make sure these are heavy, heavy, heavy for you, okay? Time. All right, other leg in front. If you're doing the bridge, other foot on the ground. Nice and tall in the body. Smile, and let's go down. Oh. 
When the timer goes, we'll grab those letter dumbbells for squat and shoulder press. If you're not familiar with the move, don't worry. I'll coach you through it. And this next move though, everybody should be able to do it, whether or not you have sensitive knees. Time. All right, so grab those light dumbbells. Rest them at the shoulders. Okay, feet hip width apart. Now push the bum back, elbows touch the tops of the knees if you're able to, and then press the dumbbells straight up above the head. Good. We start pressing as soon as we come up, give me an extra hip extension. So what does that mean? That means squeeze the bum on that up. So those are our moves. We're taking it back to the lunge, or if you're bridging, back to the one-legged bridge when the timer goes. Top. Okay, grab your heads. Get yourself set up for lunge. Ready, set, go. So, the day tomorrow, woo, tomorrow's a big day. Tomorrow I'm going to the spa. I'm so excited. 75 minute massage and pedicure. Oh, yep. Time. And then I think we'll order in because making dinner is probably the last thing I'm going to want to do when I get home. <laughs> and lunch. I don't know if you do the same thing when you go to the spa, but do you wait for a period in your life when you are totally burnt out <laughs> so you get your money's worth? Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. <laughs> Squat press coming up. Top. All right, here we go. Ugh. So we want the feet, okay, shoulder width. So it's not really wide. We'll do a wider squat later on. Squat down. Can we get the elbows touching the tops of the knees? So I really want you to squat low on this one. Hitting a little bit more quad with this squat pattern. Well, we also get shoulders and triceps. Time. Last round. Lunges. Ready, go. back into that back leg and go. Squat presses for the last time coming up. water after this.
done. All right, grab a sip of water. We need our heavy dumbbells for our next round, and then we are going on our forearms. So if you need a mat or like me, some foams, arrange them. Okay, so we have four rounds of these guys. I'm up in the time of it, 40 seconds. I'll quickly demo the moves and then I want to coach you through the first move so we get it right. I see this move done a lot incorrectly and it will only send you to physio. I don't want that for you here. So our first move, and this is the one I'll coach us through, is a deadlift. So we're working glutes and hamstrings, pushing the hips back, driving up, squeezing through the glutes on that way up. Secondary move, we move into a plank position. From there, we push the bum up and go back into plank. If you need to modify this, all I want you to do is simply drop the knees on the mat and just hold a modified plank, okay? You'll keep your hips still. Final move, we need those heavies again, getting ourselves set up in a bridge while we also work into the chest for chest press. Bum up high, as I said, because we want to hit the glutes while we're also working the upper body. Now, deadlift. Let's perfect that bit. So before you grab any dumbbells, I want you to place your hands just at the very top of your thighs. So really right where your crotch is. Now from this position, soften your knees, feet are hip width apart. Now draw your belly button in towards the back of your spine. So you're doing what we call abdominal bracing. So you're not sucking it in, you're bracing. And that's going to tighten up a deep muscle in the abdomen wall called your transverse, which will help protect your low back. Now from this position, with your hands here, I want you to collapse the upper body with a neutral spine over your hands, and then back again. Let's try it again. Knees are soft, collapse over the hands, drive up, squeeze the bum on that up face. Now let's pretend we have the dumbbells. Same move. Here we go. We hinge to that hip joint. We come up, we squeeze the glutes. At no time am I bending or trying to get down to the ground by rounding my back. Everything's really tight and strict in the upper body. So at no time should you feel your low back. With that said, if you do have very sensitive, sensitive low back, pardon me, I want you to eliminate this move altogether and do a double leg bridge. So variation of what we did earlier for the lunge pattern, add a dumbbell, toes up, heels on, and drive up. Okay, I know this is kind of turning into a how-to video as opposed to a workout video, <laughs> but it's super important to me that everybody finds the exercise that's going to work best for their body at this time. Each day is going to be a little different for us, okay? So you choose your move. All right, deadlifts. Feet hip width apart. Remember, hip hinge, okay? Brace those abs, shoulders back and down, and drive down. Good. So the hands are close to the legs. I've got a trainer at the studio, she tells her people, pretend you're shaving your legs. So it's kind of a good cue there. When we come up, squeeze the hips, push them forward so we get full extension. Shoulders are pulled back and down. And now take that gaze, stare straight ahead and keep the gaze there, even when you're on that lower part of your deadlift. Plank and pike coming up. Time. Now take your dumbbells and keep them close to you, one on each side. So we're going to need them for the chest press, remember? Now elbows on the ground underneath the shoulders. On the toes, from this position, drive the hips up into pipe, slowly lower. To modify, just stay on the knees. Chest press coming up. Top. All right, on your backs. Elbows lined up with the shoulders, wrists over the elbows, feet hip width apart. Now drive the hips up, 
Drive the dumbbells up above the chest, touch center, go back down to the forearms, or pardon me, the upper arms hitting the mat or your ground every rep. Pressing the dumbbells away from you, good. Driving the hips up away from the ground. So those are our three moves. Easy peasy, taking it back to the deadlift for round two of four, coming up. Time. I don't know if you can hear my timer, <laughs> but it sounds sick. <laughs> like it needs a new battery. Here we go. Feet hip width, hinge through the hips, brace through the abdomen region. Squeeze the booty on that way up. So I mentioned earlier, you want to feel this, the back of your thighs, your hamstrings, feel your glutes. You may feel your low back a little bit, but you shouldn't feel it that much. And if you do feel it quite a bit, recheck your form, rebrace those abs, or get rid of this move and do the bridge. Don't be a hero. Train smart. All right, place the dumbbell on each side because we're going to need them for that chest press. Get set up into that forearm plank, piking up if you're able to. Go. Dumbbells close to your thighs. Now this third round, your hamstrings might be a little warmer. You might be able to get down a little deeper. Just remember though, you are getting down deeper by the grace of your hamstrings, not by rounding your back and trying to get more length there. Do that squeeze of the booty on the up. I know, I'm a bossy bitch, aren't I? It's okay, you'll thank me when you have amazing looking legs and a healthy low back. All the other losers out there doing deadlifts wrong won't. Time. All right, here we go. Plank and pike. And go.
pull the toes up on this one. Really dig your heels in the ground, see if we can get more height in the hip lift here, in the bridge. Got a niche. I got a hair stuck to my face. My hair is just at that annoying length right now where it gets in your face when you work out, but it's not long enough for a ponytail. Shaving is the next step, I think. If you've been with me for a while, you met me when my hair was halfway down my back. And then I went for a pixie cut last year time. All right, last round, and now I'm growing it out again. I don't know. I can't figure out what I want to do. I might shave it though. Go. So our last set, we'll grab some water after this before we move on. Time. All right, get yourself down. Remember, keep the dumbbells on each side of you. You're on the forearms. Go. rows. So, neutral spine, one arm at a time. Following that with a plie squat. Feet wide now, okay? Toes turned out. <laughs> Dumbbells hanging in front of the body. You can go one if you need to knock it back a bit. And plie, knees going out. Dumbbells coming down. Yeah? Yeah. Two rounds, 40 seconds. It's like a warm-up for you, right? Yeah, no problem. All right, let's get those feet hip width. Give me that hip hinge, ab brace, arms start low, and then one at a time. So once again, we're not rounding the back. We have the same spine as we do standing. Pushing the tailbone up to the ceiling, so we've got a little bit of that curve in that low spine. Elbow brushing by the rib cage, gaze is slightly ahead, and dumbbells are away from the legs, so they're not right beside the legs. They're a little bit away. Top. All right, let's get ourselves set up. We want the feet wide. Toes are turned out. Think plie, belly. 
dumbbells in front and drop down. I think I said that twice. Oh well. When we come up, strain the arms, give me that booty squeeze. This time we're keeping the upper body fairly upright with the squat pattern. that hip hinge, brace through those abs, arms straight, alternating row. So this is working your lats, bicep, back of the shoulder, a little bit of, a little bit of mid back as well. And then there's no doubt, right, because we're in this forward position, we've got the core fired up, low back muscles fired up, legs fired up. Upper body upright. Start with your butt squeezed forward a bit. Yeah, good. Drop down. We'll grab another quick sip of water after this and then we're moving on to our last series of moves. for triceps. So we're just going to get right into it. I'll talk you through everything as we get going. So hold on to the one heavy end to end. Bring your hands straight up. Drop the dumbbell and the dumbbell um, holder, holder, post right behind the head and straighten the arms. <laughs> uh, sometimes words escape me when I need them the most. Nice and tall in the upper body. Squeeze the booty a little bit. Brace those abs like I taught you in the last couple of exercises. Protect that low back. Working into the triceps. Time. Now take this dumbbell. I want you to bring it like so, okay? Take your left foot right beside it. Bend your right knee. Now from here, I want you to go down and see if you can touch your right knee to the dumbbell. So one-legged squat. So you want that dumbbell right underneath you. Focus your stare on something stationary. Help you out with your balance. You can always drop that back foot down too. So it's not a deep, deep squat, but it's enough that it's really challenging that leg. We're having to work into the stabilizers as well into the knee and ankle. Top. Okay, so let's do the other side. So again, we want that dumbbell right underneath that left knee. Okay, right beside that foot. Now bend the knee, good, do it again. Now you may notice one side was easier than the other. That happens. Stick with me though, we'll work out those imbalances. Now when the timer goes, we'll grab those lighter dumbbells for some shoulder work. Alright, lighter dumbbells. Start with them beside you, arms resting by your side. 
Lift your arms up to shoulder height. Slowly lower. Now get the hands set in front of you, palms down, and lift up to shoulder height again. So we're alternating a side lateral raise to a front lateral raise. Being aware of how high we lift the dumbbells. We only want to shoulder height. Any higher, we're not going to train the shoulders any better. In fact, we could risk in impinging the bicep tendon. So we'll just keep it safe, keep it smart. And time. All right, so that's round one. Let's take it from the top for round two. Triceps, ready? Tighten up that core, drop the post behind the head, straighten the arms completely. Really drop the hands behind you. I want you to focus on going through a full range of motion with this move. dumbbell you just can't do it I want you to kick down your leg like so then and put as much weight as you can in that left leg and push back okay otherwise left foot right beside here we go down and touch focus your stare on something stationary really key to help keep this balance especially if you are on your less dominant leg like I am for instance right now <laughs> And that shouldn't be the case, I'm left-handed. My left leg should be amazing. Dot, other side. There you go, get that dumbbell post right at your instep, okay? Rest it right there, and then bend and up. We have our shoulder raises coming up. Time. All right. Grab those light dumbbells. Start with the arms down by your side. Pretend you're pushing two walls away from you. Come up to shoulder height and now a front raise. beside that left foot. Sorry, right foot. I got to start on this side first. <laughs> nope, I got to start on my left. That's right. Go. Don't worry about me. I'll work it out. You keep going. Woo.
right, last exercise, shoulder raises. We are almost there, baby cakes. Ready, set, go. Take that back leg behind you, bend your back knee, tuck your tailbone under so you're opening up the hip. Now take the arm across, thumb up, and get it in the shoulder. Great job! I'd love to know what you thought of the workout. Drop your comment below and don't forget to subscribe, click that notification bell on so we can let you know when we drop another workout. Other side. Good. Fingertips light behind the head or actually interlaced behind the head. Pull the elbows back. Let your head drop back. You're opening up the front of the body, giving you a bit of an extension in the spine. Release. Take your back knee to the ground now, a little deeper into the hip flexor stretch. Now tuck your tailbone under once again. Good. Take that hand behind the upper back, walk it down, elbow pointed straight up, and then lean away. So it's not a tricep stretch we're trying to do here. We're actually trying to get more stretch into the hip and through the side of the body. So walk that hand down, and as I said, elbows pointed straight up, or as up as you can get it. Release the arm, straighten your front leg for me, drape your body over the thigh, stretch into the back of your thigh, breathe into that hamstring. Let's try the other side, right knee behind, lunge, and then tuck the tailbone under, okay? Tighten that glute, good. Walk that right hand now down the mid back, elbow pointed straight up and then lean away. Release, straighten that front leg, drape your body over, stretch into the hamstring. And we did it! Hey, thanks so much for joining me. We will see you next workout. Bye! Whew. Well, it wasn't so bad the second time around for me. How are you doing? <laughs>